Hello everybody, this is Z-Dog. Hopefully you can hear me over the music. I'm going to go in here and try to turn that down just a slight bit. Alright, so when you're playing Dragon Veil, vale, just in case you didn't know, when you're coming to um, the game's extracurricular activities such as the Wheel of Chance and the Dragon Drops, which is very common... I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but the game is preset to land on certain numbers. So, like, depending on w what number you show up at, like, if you're like the 200th player to enter in and try to play the game, it already has an algorithm set up for you to land on a certain number used to be you could stick your finger right here and well it's letting you do it today but normally it won't let you actually roll it around and notice it's like that just to prove to you that it's a set number it landed directly right smack dab in the middle between 20 and 10 and naturally it gave you the lower number it is the game is set up for you to get the least amount not the best and it is sort of sad ah see now it ain't gonna let me do it up oh, now it did it doesn't normally let you do it but all right now it gave me a 20 but but for the most part Yeah, doesn't look like it's going to let me do it this time. So we'll just have to push the button, I guess. But yeah, I just want to let you guys know that it's set up for you to land on the lowest number. And, and let me show you also on the ball drop. The hundreds over here. I could drop right here. And it's naturally going to drop over there. Let, let's. I got eight gems I can spare. I want to really show you. Okay, look. If I drop this in dead center, I guarantee you that the ball will bounce off the other balls and off of the orange balls, and it will either land far to the right or far to the left, and it'll land on 10 or 30. It will not land on a high number, I promise. Because look, it's, it's literally set up for you not to win anything. I mean, if you're lucky, you might. But I just wanted to show you that. And by the way, guys, um, I made a video a while back saying that the Megatat Island didn't hold anything. It didn't do nothing. But actually, the Megatat does hold up to 15 dragons. And it has a max capacity of 3,500,000 coin, dragon cash coins. So that's actually really good if you're trying to like get as much coinage as possible to get yourself something better. But um, also another thing that's rigged on this game is this. Unless you have money, you have no chance whatsoever to win any of these games on this. Um, for some reason... It, it costs a lot of money to buy these shards, and uh, it's just not good. It, the game is just, it's rigged, unless you got money. And that's the problem with these games, even children's games. This is a children's game right here. If you don't have the money, children, even children can't win anything. So the creators of this game need to listen up and know that they're cheating children out of the opportunity to be able to win dragons and stuff on here. Now I get it, there are adults that play this. I like actually doing it. It's a very nice little leisure thing to do, but I'm just saying it's very important not to rob from children. Now...
Um, for most people that don't know this, when you have all of your dragons, let's go over here to Megatat. Now look at all these dragons that have crowns on them. All these dragons, these are your elemental dragons. Once they are maxed out to the max, you'll end up seeing, uh, these little people walking around with these flags. These are the elemental people, but there will also be extra people i think there's like 20 extra and they just keep coming back and they each have prizes with them uh which is very nice because sometimes they'll literally have gems that you need in order to purchase stuff so that's nice to have uh playing this will always give you extra gems you can get five additional gems if you watch the video a commercial it's really nice i pass it up a lot of times because i just want the stuff i want to move on get these things the faster i do it and i don't like sitting through commercials go with the highest ranked dragon whenever you're doing this that way you get more points if you go low and your dragon's not worth anything you're going to get low points this the races are actually really nice. You can win different prizes. There's like five different prizes you can win. You can win different amounts of dragon cash, or you can win gems, or you can win uh, hourglasses to speed up uh, Cairo, or you can win um, the, uh, the rift points so that you can keep on building on your rift. But it's really nice. Find your dragon. Uh, this game will also cheat you on being first. It literally allows the game to be faster than you. Instead of you actually having a chance to win. But if you have a good dragon. You, you try all your dragons out. Know what dragon works. This is a water first then snow. So what you really want is a dragon that is based off of water first. In order to actually win this so i'm going to go with the ice dragon just to show you this is actually a snow dragon but it's water based and it allows me to go pretty fast but that other dragon oh my goodness and see now the other dragon won i had it but it the game sped up and it shouldn't have actually done that oh and it also gives you dragon food so i'll just show you guys that um, what they got that's really cool right now in your in your uh, game set uh, for your achievements over here We're gonna pull that up down at the very bottom. You can buy carnival stuff You set up like a little carnival and have uh, people come and look and stuff uh, You got your string of lights to block off your stuff the the rides or whatnot. I mean, it's really nice vendors carousel and it's pretty nice. I'm actually working towards something. If I can just get a handful more of these, I'm going to buy a, a different theme for uh, one of my islands, which is really nice. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. There's some rigged stuff on this game, but it is extremely relaxing. Just build your park. Be decorative. Be creative. This will help you definitely expand your imagination.